Hello, everybody. Um, hopefully, you are doing really well uh, in the current situation that we're in. Um, we have a bit of an announcement that we would like to make. And, you know, we would love to be able to do this in person with everyone, but due to the current situation uh, that we're in, we're going to need to do it via video instead. Now, um, honey, you want to do the honors? <laughs> you said talk. All right. Well, um, we've got some really exciting news. Uh, that being that uh, Hannah is pregnant. Yay! Yay! And we are very excited about this. And the baby will be here uh, on November 7th, tentatively. So obviously, we are super excited. And we are so happy to have you joining us along in this, uh, in this exciting journey. One of the first things, aside from the pregnancy announcement, letting you guys know that this is something in our future, is we've also uh, have learned uh, what gender uh, the baby is going to be. And so in order to uh, announce what gender our baby is going to be, mm -hmm. uh, we are going to time travel to earlier today uh, where uh, I had a lot more hair than I currently do now. <laughs> um, but uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy uh, the rest of that video and uh, we'll keep you all posted as things uh, progress. Is there anything that you want to say, dear? No. No? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, stay tuned and uh, watch the next Video. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you in the see next you. one. Bye. Bye. Hi, everybody. Uh, today's we just very excited. One thing that we haven't known until just uh, uh, yesterday is what gender our baby is going to be. Now, is our baby going to be a, a boy? boy? Oh, or, a girl. <laughs> that is what we are going to be looking at today. Yes. And one of the things that was mentioned to us earlier is that there are a number of different ways that you can try to tell mm -hmm. whether or not your baby is going to be a boy or a girl. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to go through all of these old wives tales and uh, attempt to come up with the solution before uh, we reveal what the baby is going to be. Yes, we already know our baby sender, but uh, to do a little quizzes. Yep. To, to make the thing more excited. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, here is all the... The list, uh, the list of the old wives' tales. Yes. So first, honey, read it. All right. I'll go ahead and move over here, and we can go through them okay. together. Okay. So, honey, you read the here. So, so first, the phys Our first asking is: Is the baby carrying low, or is it is a uh, is uh, la, la, la. <laughs> the first question is are you carrying low or high Hi. now grandma had to tell me what this meant yesterday uh but honey why don't you go ahead and answer okay so answer. uh as i observe uh that i carry the baby is high so it is one month now for a girl. <laughs> All right. The next question is, um, do you do you have pregnancy acne or other types of skin blemishes? 
One old wives' tales claims that girls will steal your beauty. So, honey, what you think about my skin? I think you are always beautiful. But I feel my skin is not really good at before, so I think it's dry. All right. So okay. I'll mark one Wonderful down. boy. All right. The next one is asking, have you noticed a change in your body temperature? If you're feeling cold and icy, it's a boy. Hot and sweaty, it's a girl. So, what do you feel about your body temperature, dear? What do you think? I think uh, you always keep the thermostat too hot. So, you feel cold. Yes, I feel cold. Another mark in the boy column. Yeah. The next is for the baby's heart rate. Um, an old wives' tale claims that a slower heart rate, uh, which means that under 140 BPMs, means boy, while over 140 means girl. I I went to the clinic at three times already, so the heart rate always above. 140 so it that, is a girl here all right yes the next we are asking about our cravings now uh have you noticed any significant cravings if you're craving sweet things you're having a girl if you're craving salty or sour foods it's a boy well I've seen Hannah have quite a sweet tooth over the past couple months. So I'm gonna say you're craving sweet. But what about you, honey? Yeah, I'm not a fan of sweet, but like now a day I eat sweet a lot, so I think it's a girl. Alright. So now we've got three girl, two boys. So far is team pink. It's winning. <laughs> oh, but we're not there yet. The next question has to do with the Chinese calendar. Now, both ancient Chinese and Mayan cultures used a calendar to predict a baby's gender. If both your age and the year you conceived are even, you're having a girl. Same if they're both odd. Now, if one is even and one is odd, you're having a boy. I am 31 years old now, then mm -hmm. I consist in the February, so it means it's odd number. Yes, because so, we were born, so Hannah was born in 1989, mm. and uh, this year is 2020. Mm. So that means that one is odd and one is even, so the Chinese calendar says that we're having a boy. Okay, he's a boy here. All right, now the next question has to do with morning sickness. Have you dealt with morning sickness? An old wives' tale states that sickness means it's a girl. If not, then lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> so I do not feel morning sickness so much, mm -hmm. so I no. Nope. No. All right. So now we are four in the boy column <laughs> and three in the girl column. column. <laughs> All right. And next we get to deal with uh uh. That's great. All right. We all know that sympathy pains are a real thing. If your husband also put on some baby weight, an old wives' tale says it's a girl. Now, I think this partially has to do with the coronavirus, <laughs> but my weight has gone up since we've been put down in lockdown. So okay. with that in mind, I would say that's a yes. yes. So. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, next question uh, for number nine here. Um, have you experienced swollen legs or ankle? Ankles, if you have, rumor is it's a boy. No. All right. I'm not. All right. The next is asking about clumsiness or gracefulness. This is saying, um, have you experienced lots of clumsiness during your pregnancy? If so, it's a boy. 
If you've been graceful, expect a baby girl. What you thought? Well, um, I would say that you are more forgetful now than, than yes, before. So I am very clumsiness now. Mm -hmm. I think I do something, I open. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, oh, I'll go ahead and say so, yes. Yes. Uh, yes, here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have dreams. Baby dreams. Are you, are you having crazy pregnancy dreams? Rumor has it that your baby's gender is opposite of the gender you dream about. What you dream about our well, baby? I had a dream about our baby a couple days ago thinking that it was a girl. Honey, what, and you had a dream about... I, I always dream about the baby boy. So we'll just it's, put it in. It's, it's, but <laughs> it means like the opposite. Mm -hmm. So it means it's a girl. So yes, for you, because yeah. it's your dreams, not yes, mine. It's my dream. All right. The next question has to do with headaches. Um, have you experienced frequent headaches during your pregnancy? If so, you could be having a boy. Uh, I do not feel so frequency, so it's mm -hmm. like once per month or twice per month. Yeah. So it's really not often, so, so I'm thinking it's enough. All right, and then we have moodiness. How is your mood? If you're happy and mellow, expect a boy. If you're moody, it's a girl. What Honey, do what do you think about your mood? What do you think about my mood? I think you are wonderful. Okay, so a moody or happy? Oh, I don't know. You, what do you think? Huh? Um, well, um, let's say happy. I'm gonna say yeah, you're a um, very happy I, person. I am always happy person, so he's happy. All right. So let's, let's go ahead and total up all of these numbers. Okay. So in the boy column, we have one, one two, two, three, four, four five, five, six. Six. And then in the girl column, we have one, two, three, four, four five, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Oh my one boy different mm -hmm. and in our case it wouldn't matter either way <laughs> we care about healthiness yeah but with that in mind we now need to reveal what uh, kind of baby baby sender so with that in mind we're gonna go ahead and on the count of three we're going to release our hands, and what gender uh, balloon is still there yes. is going to be our winner. So, boy here, or who, girl. Win? who will be All a right. winner? All right, guys. Let's so see. Remember, like for a boy, subscribe for a girl. <laughs> All right. Anyways, three, two, two one. one. A girl, our mm. baby is a girl. See, you be a precious, a beautiful. <laughs> so, um, either, anyways, we hope that you guys enjoyed this video looking at uh, the various old wives' tales uh, that exist out there. And you think it's correct? Yeah, and this, in this case, it's a correct one, but. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, we enjoyed making it and uh, hopefully we'll get to see you guys soon and uh, maybe after November see you'll be able to yeah. see our baby. <laughs> Have a good one guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye.